These three noodle experts behind me are getting ready for a once-in-a-lifetime battle. They come from three different states, and they also learn to cook noodles in three different countries. But they have one thing in common. They're all here to beat Iron Chef Alex Gornichelli. The whole country against me. I'm gonna need a microphone for this. I literally brought a whole new genre of noodles to New York City. Can Alex say that? I eat, breathe, live pasta. When you're single-mindedly focused on one thing, nobody can beat you. I'm not a one-note noodle maker. Alex may have destroyed everyone in her path previously, but that stops today. You know, you go to the zoo and you look at the lion pacing around in the cage, you look at the puma, you know, and then you go to the butterfly house, you look at the butterflies and you say, you know, all these animals are just not the same. Guess which one I am. Now, you guys are pasta experts, but Chef Alex is a master of everything. So buckle up, because it's time to meet her. Iron Chef, Alex Gornichelli. Woo! Hey, hey. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. Alex, would you like to know what tonight's theme is? No, no, I just like to stand around here staring <laughs> at everybody. So this is all about noodles. Oh. Even though I'm Italian-American and my name's Guarna Shelley, I'm a French-trained chef, so noodles, pasta, not exactly my wheelhouse. These are three of the best noodle chefs from across the country. This from New York is Chef Simone. She first started making noodles for her family in China. New York Times gave Simone's noodle shop a two-star review, saying that she made the most interesting noodle soup in the city. Wow, respect. Let me introduce Chef Matthew from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Matthew has learned to make pasta in Michelin star restaurants in Italy. From Parma to Bologna to Verona. No, you know, don't stress out about it, you know, it's okay. And lastly, this is Chef Naima from Los Angeles. She was raised in Paris and went to culinary school in France. A Frenchie, yes. She prepared pasta nightly as the chef de cuisine at Michelin restaurants in France and the States. Fancy pants. All right, chefs, here's how this noodle battle works. First up is the survival round. All of you will be preparing a noodle dish, and then a pair of renowned experts will be conducting a blind tasting. The chefs that cook the top three noodle dishes will be moving on to the final round. But that fourth chef will not, even if that's you, Alex. And because the three of you are here to challenge Alex, it's up to you to pick your challenge. So under these lids are the variables that would be making up your challenge. All right, let's check it out. All right. You guys get to pick what noodles you'll be using. You have the options of boxed, fresh, or the ingredients to do it yourself. I think the first round, we keep it simple and straightforward. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. picking fresh pasta. Yeah, I agree, yeah, yeah. definitely fresh yeah. pasta. Yeah. Cooks quicker. So you're deciding between fresh and boxed? Oh, just fresh. Yeah? Over fresh, yeah. All right. Smart. So now let's look at which protein is going to be influencing your flavors. Whoa. All right. In front Whoa. of you, you have pancetta. Beautiful. Mexican chorizo and dried shrimp. I'm kind of on the fence. I like the Mexican chorizo because it's going to kind of like melt into the sauce more. Yeah. That might make all of our dish kind of similar. Kind of the same. And then dried shrimp is very strong, very. It's, it's very yeah. distinct taste and it's really hard to like work to our advantage. Yeah. That would trip me up. They, they'd be really smart to pick the shrimp. Panchada is more like neutral. Yeah, it's like clean, yeah, like base. Like, I can do panchada. What are you guys thinking? Panchada. Why is that? It's more neutral. And you're giving her panchada and fresh pasta? You know her last name is Gornichelli? Yes. <laughs> OK. And shut it is. Perfect. I feel like we are giving this round to Chef Alex on a golden platter, but it's also giving me everything on a golden platter as well. So let's find out what you'd be making with these two ingredients. A sauce dish or broth dish? I'm going sauce already. We can yeah. do sauce. Yeah, broth is like, takes a little more time to layer. We don't know what our time constraint is yeah. yet. Yeah, sauce. 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 Look at Alice, she can barely contain her excitement. <laughs> Let's move over to the last lid. Because it reveals how much time you'll be giving yourselves and Chef Alex. You guys get to pick between one and 60 minutes. Do not pick one minute. To me, personally, I need 40 minutes at least. I would say like I'm good with 20. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, 20 is definitely too little. Chef Alex is pacing around, which obviously means she's getting ready. What do you guys want to do? I think we go 45. 45. Let's, 45. Yeah. Let's do 45. Let's give ourselves yeah. enough time. We're going to okay. do uh, 45. All right, chefs. The table is set. Smart. 
I already regret giving Alice 45 minutes. Like, she's a veteran. She knows what she's doing. So here's what's at stake. The chef that finishes fourth will be leaving the kitchen. But the chef who finishes first gets to exclusively pick all the ingredients for the next challenge. I like that. Even if that's Chef Alex. So with that all said, it's time to start cooking. Your time starts now. From years of cooking on competition shows, it's the first time I thought, do I have too much time? That's when you pile on too much stuff or you make mistakes. So I'm making tagliatelle with walnuts, some fresh herbs, a little bitter radicchio. I want the pancetta to shine. Pancetta is a sensitive creature. It needs room to breathe. I'm going to put a chunk in the blast chiller to freeze it up so I can do thin shavings on a mandolin when it's colder and just do like little frizzled bits of pancetta. I want some little matchsticks so I have different textures and shapes of pancetta. I put a couple chunks through the meat grinder to get almost like ground beef. I want the grease from the pancetta to build the base for my sauce. I didn't see a lot of people grinding. Chef Alice, she's taking her Iron Chef experience using a key ingredient three multiple ways. Very, very smart. Question? Uh, Ask me now while I'm feeling polite. Uh, is it harder when the teacher says write anything you want as opposed to a specific assignment? <clears throat> Always harder when you have a blank slate. I think the very first idea that pops in your head, make that. So right now I'm just gonna slice some pancetta up. Cook it down, make a little base with that. Cause you know, everything's better with a little pork. I'm an ambassador of Italian cuisine. Jersey has the most amount of Italian Americans in any other state. Might as well be a, a region of Italy. Maybe the basic, maybe do a little riff on a Matatriciana. Beautiful. For me, my philosophy, I don't try to reinvent the wheel. Okay. Let's make a good wheel. Make a great wheel, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, So you how know? do you feel about going Italian versus Italian, obviously, with Chef Alex? I'm honored the battle in this. Fusilia Matatriciana, this is my, like, go-to day off pasta. It's just three ingredients, fresh pasta, pancetta, and sauce. Everybody I've worked with is saying, you cook like a grandma, you cook like a Nona. And with pasta comes centuries of love from Nona's heart. It's on, Alex, it's on, and you're going down. I'm sure Chef Alex is doing amazing pasta dish. I'm gonna make an amazing chill sesame noodle dish. Make Chinese Americans proud. This sauce is a flavor bomb. That's how I'm gonna put it down, Alex. I'm adding peanut butter and tahini. For my acids, I'm adding black vinegar, rice vinegar. For some funk, I'm adding hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, and fish sauce. Because I'm serving cold noodles, I'm gonna cook it now. I'm not Italian like everyone else, so I gotta make my own thing. Chef Alex is amazing woman, amazing chef, amazing mother, and I am also the same. I want to be the Chinese version of Alex. Can I go ahead and try the sauce? Please try. The seasoning is a little under. It could use a little bit more, uh, some zip, a little bit more love to it. I'm doing a classic. Okay. A linguine and clams uh, of Angole. Angole, okay. Which I know is kind of putting myself up against Chef Alex, because she's Italian and French. Adding pancetta, of course, to it. So um, like the breadcrumb mm -hmm. nice. I'm making a pancetta broth to yep. really bring the pancetta flavor through all the way. Very nice. Hopefully that will make it stand out. Yeah. I grew up in France, but now that I've lived here almost 15 years, Los Angeles is definitely home to me. Coming to LA, I totally was bathing in pasta because I ran one of the best Italian restaurants in Los Angeles. It's Copa Italian Mut, just making pasta all day. I think Chef Alex and I have a lot of similarities in our culinary background, so I feel like I could level up and be her. Having so much time, the judges are gonna expect something really spectacular. You need to really be mind blown.